Okay, so I'm here with Abdel Gadir, Tariq Abdel, Abdel Gadir, uh, who's a postdoc at ICTP and just recently came back from an activity in Ghana. So mm -hmm. that's what we, we would talk about this. So maybe you could start about um, with a little bit of a background of you know how is it you came to mathematics and you ended up here at ICTP. So I'm from Sudan, uh, I mean, but I lived quite a lot of my life in the United Arab Emirates and then most of my mathematical education was done in the UK and um, yeah I was lucky enough to sort of come to the ICTP for a postdoc. I mean it happened in a really strange fashion, I mean I came through, Bar Barbara Fanteki told me about ICTP uh -huh. uh, at a conference once and then she said yeah, after you finish you have to apply to the ICTP for oh, a postdoc. Oh I see, I didn't know that. Yes, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. yes. Oh, good for her. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so that's how, that's how I came to the ICTP. I mean, and they been going through UK accounts for your accent. That's that's, that's very true. And the the ma mathematics. I mean, I was always at school I, until very late. I didn't know it was an option to even like study mathematics further. I mean, I come from a background where it's engineering versus medicine. And that's the choice you make. But um, I had a very good math teacher, and that was a big influence. But back in uh, back in, in, in the UAE. UAE. And then I read I read I, I read. Uh, Stephen Hawking's uh, A Brief History of Time, and oh. I was like, oh, or some of it, I mean, I read, read, read One of the few people yes, that made yes. it. Yeah. No, 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 I didn't finish it. No, no but you didn't finish it. But yeah, but then um, I was like, yeah, I might want to do this. I did maths and physics at, at university, and then it was... University in, in UAE? Bath. No, 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 in Bath, yes. already the undergraduate was yes. in the UK. And then I, I, it was clear to me that maths is what I want to do. And yeah, I'm so happy, it's such, a, it's such a, an honor to be able to do this for a living. And you're now going to uh, Sydney. Yes, I moved to the University of New South Wales in Sydney for a for a postdoc. Uh, yes, it's it's so it's, you're <laughs> just checking all continents. One by one. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think I guess I, I did a postdoc in in Korea before. Ah, I that's true. Korea Korea. as well. So yeah, let's see. Yeah, <laughs> one by one. That's one take. And uh, so tell us about this activity in Ghana, which is partly you were uh, together with your colleague Uli Kramer, Kramer yeah. uh, the main sort of instigators and mm -hmm. organizers. So I, I know Uli Kramer through my time in Glasgow doing my PhD there, and he was a freshly appointed lecturer there when I was doing my PhD. And I mean, the story of how this came about is completely sort of ridiculous for me because it was just a coincidence. Uli came to Trieste. To, um, for, 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 no, to a PhD defense in CISA. Uh -huh. And then he wrote to me, he's like, oh, do you want to go for a pizza? And we started speaking, and he was saying, telling me about how he teaches at Ames every, once every year for say, three weeks. And I was like, oh, great, you should come meet Fernando, because um, yeah, we also are interested in things of that form. And uh, from that meeting, two of his students came to the diploma program. Uh, two students from Ghana. From Ghana, yes, mm -hmm. from, from Ames, Ghana. Ghana. Mm -hmm. Came to his to the PhD, Angela, to and, Angela Prosper. and Prosper, yes. And Angela went on to do a PhD with him, in fact. Um, and if you suggested that we should maybe, if there's a possibility of organizing something. And so we applied for the money and we got the money and with Ames we started this project. So like, like I said, it was just a complete coincidence that Uli happens to be in Trieste. <laughs> we happen to go for a pizza and we happen to so and so and so. Okay, I'm glad <laughs> Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> And uh, so this was in homological algebra. Is that yes, correct? it was. The, so we we like we tried to find a broad sort of uh, title, and it's called homological methods in algebra and geometry. Mm -hmm. And and it was yeah. I think every talk had some homological methods, and we had three main streams of talks. The, the, the first was in um, Kovan of homology, so uh, not homology and its relation to representation theory. And the second one was in cluster algebras, again very sort of booming area in representation theory. And the third one was in non-commutative algebraic geometry. And uh, so pretty modern, uh, cutting edge topics. So. Yes, and very homological, very <laughs> very algebra and geometry. So it was it was very nice. And luckily we had um, Aaron Lauder from University of Southern California come give a talk, and his talk just. Was, was an overview talk and it combined, like the, it made sense of the fact that we had these three streams uh -huh. in. So combined all of them in one, in, in one uh, talk and how they're all related and, and why people care. So it was... 
And, and there were, you were telling me, about 40-something participants? 40-something participants. Mostly from Africa? Mostly from Africa. I think we had 15 speakers and lecturers, or, and uh, the rest were from Africa. Quite a lot from Ghana. I mean, the, this was the, the most represented African country. This was at, at, in Ghana? It was in Ghana. Mm -hmm. um, two from Burkina Faso, um, Burundi, Guinea, Uganda, Kenya, um, and Senegal, South Africa. So it was, it was it was very it was. So very it was interesting, presumably, to see uh, people from different uh, countries in Africa meeting. No? Yes, yes, and part of the reason why we wanted to do this was that Af algebra or uh, and and algebraic geometry were underrepresented in Africa. I mean. There are many sort of strong researches in Africa, but they tend to be more on the analysis side, maybe, or something of that form. And uh, there's not much algebra and geometry going on, and we wanted to help the people who are there to sort of uh, flourish a little bit and maybe encourage students to, to pursue the area. And the students, so the students' backgrounds was mostly not in algebra? Mostly not in algebra, or some, some of the younger ones did the, these masters at Ames and, and mm. had some little background. They were taught by either Uli or Brent at some point. Uh, mm. and so they had a little background, but the point was to, to expose them to what the cutting edge is and to, to show them that there's something if they want to, to pursue. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so. And so overall the experience was... Uh, the experience good. was very, very pleasant. Obviously it was like two weeks of being on, which is hard. I mean, you have to, being organizer, I mean, it was the first time for me to do such a thing. You have to be like alert all the time, make sure so anything that goes wrong, you have to... So all the practical matters as well the as the scientific ones. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And so we had, uh, unfortunately, one of the speakers fell ill, um, one of the lecture speakers fell ill in the last like uh, weekend, and so we had to sort of somehow cover cover his, his lecture course. And thankfully, I mean, the people were great. The speakers of the second week filled in, one of his master students filled in, and so we, I'm, I'm very grateful for the people who were there. He was saying as well that many, most of the um, sort of non-Africans uh, uh, came with their own uh, funds. Yes, yes, quite. I, I mean, I think it's it's half the participants, half the, half the speakers, sorry, if just maybe that's an exaggeration, but just a little bit than a little less than half were on their own grants and they were so like wanting to help. I mean there was this they want they felt the need to sort of uh, um, speak to share the students and share want. share what they have. Including someone who came from Japan. Including right? somebody from who came from Japan. He came on his own funds. Um, from the UK we had three or four people come with their own funds. Uh, from California, somebody paid half half of his flight, and and so it's just it, it was it was really nice. Uh, it was a very pleasant experience. It, it sort of reminds you that the smart community business is, is is a very pleasant place to be in. I mean, people really want to help and very humble and always wanting to give something. So. Fantastic, very good. Yeah. Well, thanks very much, Derek. Yeah, thank you. Until next time. Thank you. Thank you.